Now I want to introduce you to an aspect of soil fertility for the orchard. If you look directly next to the trunks is where a lot of the time sheep lie down and rest. Here you can see they grazed close and they lay down. You'll also see there's poo, leavings, manure, shit all around this tree. This yo is thinking of settling down and having an afternoon rest here. That manure, hello you, how are you beautiful? Yes. That manure that's all under and around the tree will fertilize that tree. The manure will go into the soil, feed the soil, which will feed the roots, which will go up the trunk, feed the tree, and feed the blossom. And when the blossoms fed, it will then feed the fruit. So this is a form of fertility. Now the sheep are grazing all the grass all around the orchard. And when they're resting, before they get up, a lot of the time they poo where they're lying, which is up against a tree. And being up against the tree, they're bringing the fertility from all around the orchard to this tree and concentrating it around this particular tree. So this tree will get its fertility. There she is, lying down under her tree. This is her tree and you can see She's laying down in different places and just before she gets up she'll poo or shit and that is how this tree gets its nutrition from elsewhere in the orchard or when she's out in other fields and comes and shits here. So this is part of the cycle of using livestock to produce fruit. So these apples will then be really really deliciously nutritious. This orchard, since I've been home, has, I don't think I've ever fertilized it, ever, other than what the sheep are doing naturally. And as you can see, this is her tree. And you can see her fertilizing the tree as she lies there. And she hasn't done it around this section of the tree yet, but She's working her way around. If she's here long enough, she will have shat all the way around the tree. And that concentration of nutrients that her rumen and the microbiology within her rumen produce and get shat out in the shit, then the dung beetles break it down and bring it into the soil. And that is the cycle of fertile life. So the blossoms that are in this tree and pollinated by bees, these bees are less likely to have varroa mite because the microbiology that's feeding the trees is feeding the blossom, which is feeding the bees. So it's, it's a full cycle of nutrients, of microbiology, microsial life, and there you have it. That is about regenerating soil, soil fertility, and the cycle of growing life for food and food for life. And there she is, enjoying her tree. Little does she know how important she is. Something I forgot to physically actually show you is, okay, this is her dung. She's lying there, chewing her cud. The microsial action within her up there come on leave her alone the microsial action which stimulates the rumen and ferments the food that she's going to then shit out so introducing soil fertility to the plant life the other component are the dung beetles and you can see this dung those holes there are where the dung beetles have gone in so you can see the dung beetles have been active underneath the tree. This is all her dung. Now if I break this up, 
There might be dung beetles inside. Yep, there's dung beetles inside. There is a dung beetle. Let's see, can you see it? There's the dung beetle. That's the dung beetle that's active this time of year and obviously doesn't mind the shelter of trees. Let's see if I can, whoops. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Oh, I can't do this with one hand. Not easy. Uh, oh dear. This isn't working very well. But anyway, there is the dung beetle. So I'm gonna let it go back to work. Are you gonna leave her alone? Good girl. I gotta wipe the dung off my hand. I'll go and wash my hands now. But that is the cycle of life and dung beetles and how we get, as humans, nutrient-dense food or even more nutrient-dense fruit or vegetables. Isn't that right, girl? <laughs>